Hello everyone, welcome to Cardano Catalyst TV. I'm Mi Jung and today we welcome a very special guest, Mr. Will from the Origin Thread. Hi, how are you? Hey, yeah, pretty well. Thanks for being, thanks for having me and it's great to be here. So thank you for being here. So uh, can you share with the community your proposal that you submitted for this fund? And can you also share why do you have this idea? Yeah, thanks. So the proposal we've submitted is called Supply Chain Transparency, uh, Fungible Tokens and Non-Fungible Tokens. And really this proposal is, uh, it sets out a plan to research, develop and implement and launch uh, a product on the Cardano blockchain, which has a fully transparent supply chain enabled by combining the use of fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens. So quickly, why are we doing this? Um, the first area we're focusing on as Origin Thread is fashion. Uh, why fashion and why is supply chain transparency important? You may or may not know that uh, garment supply chains are deeply destructive around the world. Something like 2% of garment workers in the world are paid a living wage. Uh, the farming practices used to grow most of the cotton is incredibly destructive. It's something like 16% of all the world's pesticides are used on cotton crops. Again, like two to 3% of farm workers every year suffer from acute pesticide poisoning, which means they have to go to hospital. Um, garment workers work in incredibly dangerous conditions. There was the Rana uh, Plaza factory collapse in a few years back, killing over a thousand people. And all of this is just day-to-day -day normal business in uh, the world of fashion. Why does this happen? It happens because people have no connection to where their clothes are made or who's made them, how much they've been paid. And until brands have a way to be transparent, what unfortunately happens is many of the large fashion brands around the world they'll put a splash on their website about some green initiative that they have, which covers 0.1% of their production. Meanwhile, it's business as usual. So we're using the transparent nature of the blockchain to bring um, light to, to these things. And there, there's a second why as well, which is that we need to demonstrate real world uses of the blockchain. We've got to the point where we can sell monkey JPEGs to each other on the internet, and that's all fantastic, but for large scale adoption to happen, we need to bring the blockchain into normal people's lives. Now, pretty much everybody I've ever met wears clothes. Um, so by connecting Cardano to an, an area which many people use, the, the, the scope for adoption is massive. And what's more, this transparent supply chain approach it is relevant, not just in fashion, but across many, many, many industries. So. Uh, things like chocolate, uh, coffee, commodities such as those where people think, okay, I care about the provenance of where my goods have come from. Gemstones, many, many, many different industries. So what we're really hoping to do with this proposal is to demonstrate a use case and a methodology, deploy an implementation of Cardano as for tracking supply chains, which can then be scaled up and used across many different industries, which will drive, hopefully, larger adoption of, of the blockchain. Okay. Yes, that's very awesome idea. So uh, can you share with us this team setting behind this proposal and this project? So uh, which could help contribute and deliver the project? Yeah, great. So um, it's quite a, quite a large team when you kind of scale across all of it. So uh, myself as a sort of the founder, the creator of Origin Thread, responsible for project management, responsible for uh, sourcing suppliers responsible for um, a large part of the work is going to be uh, research, all the research there for how do we best uh, onboard suppliers to mint native tokens. I'm taking uh, all of those roles. I'm very lucky to have found some great partners. Uh, so we're working with a company in India for our cotton supplier. They're called Herbal Fab. Uh, Kunal, who's the, the CEO there, young guy, very, very passionate about the need for uh, organic textiles and for things to be done right. We've got pattern cutters in the UK, a lady called Pearl Zephyrin. Uh, Kunal's also going to be doing the manufacturing, working with a great textile artisan for the dyeing called Didaj. Um, and then a, a girl called Ellie in the UK, who's going to be doing our, our social media as well. So can you also share with the community the timeline that you have already set up and also the requested budgets that you uh, asked from the fund? Yeah, great. So 
just flip over to here, I think the easiest way for me to explain it. So there's there's four stages to the, the sort of the plan um, as we've set it out. So it's the research stage, the development stage, the partner and create stage, and then what I've called self-sustain and spread the word. So um, first stage is research. So really that's understanding the inputs, functions, and outputs of a fashion supply chain and exploring the similarities to other industries. Then it's defining improvements to customers and businesses that can be attained through tokenized supply chain. And then exploring the solutions and implementations that can be used across multiple businesses and industries. And really that's with a view to moving on to the development stage where we're going to set to define standards for materials and data input. So when you're recording information on a fungible token or a non-fungible token, which is relevant to supply chain, what information really needs to be recorded and how can that similar standards of information be applied not just in fashion but also across different areas we'll be looking at that there um then in that development stage will be a simplified testnet implementation and a scale testnet implementation so a simple testnet implementation of a supply chain might have uh, just a couple of steps in it obviously supply chains are much more complex it's worth talking about at this point i guess how a supply chain can be put on the blockchain when you think about a uh, supply chain for pretty much any good, it can really be abstracted to kind of five components. Um, the first of these is the materials, the components that you use, that might be cotton thread or cotton fabric, or it might be uh, steel, right? It could be anything like that. The second aspect is finished products. These are made by suppliers who are in locations who are carrying out processes. Now, each of these can be represented on the blockchain materials and components as fungible tokens. When you're making something, you, you kind of don't care whether it's the beginning bit of the cotton roll or the end bit of the cotton roll uh, that the shirt's made from. Products are represented as NFTs. This kind of does matter because you care if the shirt is yours or someone else. If you send it to a laundry service, it matters that you get your shirt back. It's non-fungible in that sense. Your suppliers, their information can be stored as NFTs. You have locations, which exist as wallet addresses, just as we have now. And then you have processes. Now, a process in a supply chain is where one or more uh, components is transformed into another component or a product. So as a simple example, if you're taking uh, cotton fabric and you're transforming it into a shirt, this will be represented by the burning of the cotton fabric tokens, the the cotton fabric being represented as token and the minting of a shirt token. Now, one of the things which is really cool about the Cardano native asset design is you can burn a native asset, but you can still reference the metadata from the original transaction. So the information about any um, material is stored in the minting transaction. And even when a token is burned, that's still remains accessible. So yeah, that's the development stage. Next is partner and create. Um, what we'll be doing here is creating a run of uh, 500 men's t-shirts. We've put the designs up on the, the Catalyst website. Uh, the view for this is to have something that people can wear with pride at uh, blockchain events that they go to as a real world demonstration of just how great Cardano is. And then finally, it's self-sustain and spread the word. One of the things I feel really strongly about with Catalyst proposals is how once you have that initial funding, how do you keep going? How do you keep driving money into the business? And, and for us in this case is driving sales of uh, that product. And um, yeah, that will give us the money to continue to develop on Cardano. There's lots of other really interesting use cases of NFTs, how they attach with products. And we're kind of looking forward to developing those in the future. Um, what about the pre-practice budgets that you guys asked for this proposal? Yeah, great question. So. Let me just get over here onto the page that I can give you full information. The budget is, the total budget is for, um, let me just double check, it's $40,000, as I remember. Yeah, $40,000. So this is uh, split into a few different things. Uh, first is project management, token development. Uh, basically, this is the UK living wage. I, I live in the UK. Uh, for myself to be able to spend six months full time working on this project, uh, that works out as fourteen, just over fourteen thousand uh, dollars. The next is the production of five hundred shirts. So actually, the material cost to make these things and get them out into the world that kind of comes to about twelve thousand five hundred dollars. 
Additional development, there may be development tasks that I can't handle. Um, this is kind of a contingency, so that's 80 hours, $80 an hour times 50 hours that you get freelance rates of $4,000. Social media management, um, this is a key part because you, you have to get your ideas out into the world. Um, so that's to hire someone for 16 weeks on the tail end of the project, uh, really to, once things are built, to promote them and get them out into the world. Um, filmmaking and content creation whilst we're uh, doing the manufacturing. It's a, a partner of ours, I should have actually said in, in our team thing, a guy called Rajat Pandit. He's actually um, created a film for us, which is on the Origin Tech website now. Um, product photography, server hosting software, and some contingency in there as well. So the contingency being a key thing, there's many things that can change. Material prices can change. Um, there can be delays. Things could be slightly more difficult to develop. So we added that in there. And, that all comes to $40,000 in total. Okay, that's very nice. Um, very detailed and very uh, well listed uh, plan that you have uh, with your proposal. So mm -hmm. if you got funded, so where can the community track for your team's activities and continue to support your activities? Great, so on the Origin Thread website and on the Origin Thread uh, Twitter account, what we're going to be doing if we get funded is at the beginning of every month setting out, okay, these are our goals for the month. This is what we're looking to achieve. This is where we should be on our roadmap um, by the end of the month. And then at the end of the month, how have we done against that? Have we, you know, have we hit our targets? Have we exceeded them or have we fallen short? And, and if so, why? So that'll be on a monthly basis. There's going to be, you know, additional posts on Twitter alongside that of us sharing the manufacturing process or what we're doing. Of course, people are gonna have the option if they see what we've done and they like it to, to buy a shirt from us, that will be on the Origin Thread website. Um, yeah, and you know, we, we've set out our, our kind of KPIs on uh, Catalyst as well. So it's a number of uh, iterations, the number of supply chain stages tokenized is, is quite important. So how deep and how in detail do we manage to, to map a supply chain? You can do it very simply one layer, or it's like how, how deep into the process can you get? Um, one thing that I, I haven't mentioned, which I should mention is we're gonna be documenting and sharing the implementation method at the end of the project. So one of the things which is important for us, and I think important for Catalyst is that more people are able to implement this methodology. I mean, it's, if just origin thread are using the supply chain method in this way, it, it doesn't really change anything. Whereas if other companies across different industries are able to do this, then not only does that drive more value for Cardano and for Catalyst, but also for you know people around the world, which is really our goal. Um, so we're going to be writing about sharing, documenting how other brands, how other businesses can implement this. So that that will be the kind of the final step as people will be able to read those documents and say, right, this is how we're set about implementing supply chain and, and I think within that as well there's going to be lots of lessons learned obviously when you set out at the beginning of a project you, you, you can't ever see all of the uh, issues and the challenges that you're going to overcome so it's going to be great to write about those and share those so again people will be able to find those on the Origin Thread website and on our Twitter. Okay that's very awesome so everyone on the link related to this proposal going to be listed down below in the description where you can go down and check on the uh, the information from this proposal. So uh, last questions for you is that, do you have anything to share with the community to ask for people vote for your proposal? Yeah, the first thing would just be go and, go and have a read of it. Um, if, if you've watched this and it seems interesting, go and spend 10, 15 minutes, have a read of the proposal. What I would really love is any comments, any questions that you have. I found that really helpful just in, in the process so far as people asking questions. It helps me as well. It helps clarify my thinking. It helps clarify what we're doing as a business because the Cardano community and the Cassis community has kind of great strength in depth and also sort of breadth of people's viewpoints and experiences. So the more of those that can kind of be added to the project, I think the, the greatest chance of success. Um, so yeah, just have a read of it, have a comment. Um, if you're kind of interested already, the, the very first iteration of sort of Origin Thread as a brand is, is now up and live on the Origin Thread website. So this Cassis proposal is the sort of development of about nine months of work that we've already done, putting into sort of, well, really exploring how uh, the blockchain can be used to improve transparency and fashion. So 
Our first collection of men's shirts have been released. They use an NFT which lists fully transparent supply chain information. So that's kind of iteration one. Iteration two is this catalyst proposal. We go, okay, we've, we've learned from this. We've done something which I think is already quite revolutionary in the fashion industry, which is put, putting our uh, supply chain information online in a way which is you know, fully transparent and will be there forever because it's on the blockchain. But we wanted to go deeper than that. We wanted to go one step further. We wanted to really uh, explore the blockchain ethos of don't trust verify. So how can we do that? And that's the proposal. Here. So yeah, I'd say to anyone, if you're interested, follow us on Twitter at Origin Thread. Go to OriginThread.com, have a look at what we're doing. If you're interested, pop us an email and buy a shirt. And finally, have a read of the proposal. Um, and yeah, ask us some questions. Ask us some questions. Like if you're not sure of anything, um, I mean, it's, it's quite complex, the implementation, or if you think, do you know what, that's a kind of crazy idea. I, I want to hear that as well. So um, yeah, any thoughts or comments, just pop them in my way. Okay, thank you, Will and everyone. Uh, please, just like Will said, if you have any doubt, any concern about this proposal, you can comment down below or you can contact the team directly. All of the information is going to be listed down in the description. If you guys are interested in this proposal, please come on IDSCAN and also the voting app and search for the keyword supply chain transparency, FTs, and NFTs. So, and support this a very practical um, applications on blockchain to uh, practicalize, socialize. So uh, thank you everyone. Thank you, Will, for being here today. And uh, thank you for watching Carano Catalyst TV and I'm Mijo.